What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hackintosh from start to finish. This video is going to be all about updating Mac OS X. Now currently I'm running 10.7.2, can't tell but it is running it, trust me. And in this video we'll be updating to Apple's newly released today, as a matter of fact, February 1st, 2012, 10.7.3. Now just like my Time Machine backup video, there's a little curveball whenever you update. In most systems, not all, there are some systems that you'll never experience a problem. I shouldn't say never. But there are systems that, you know, usually when you update, you won't lose any text. Now, that all depends on the installation, what sound control your motherboard has, etc., etc. For my system, I usually lose audio. And so what you have to do is you have to actually reinstall your audio driver in order for your system to be fully working after the update. Now, when you update, there's two ways you can do it. One, you can go right up to software update and download the update. That's what I'll be doing in this video. But there's a little disclaimer there. Uh, number one, number two you can actually go to Apple's website and install the combo update, which is sort of what I recommend doing. However, I just know my system well enough to know that this will more than likely work. Um, every single combo update that I've downloaded has worked, as well as every single update from software update. So I just go through the software update because that's a Delta update. Uh, more often than not, they're a lot smaller than the combo updates. So I, I will be going with a software update for this video. Now the main reason I recommend doing the combo update is that you can install the uh, drivers you need for MultiBeast before you actually have to restart after the update. So when you run the combo update, you can just run it as a PKG, just double click it, it installs, and before you restart, you can open up MultiBeast, install the kex that you'll need, providing you do your research, that is, I would just reinstall every kex if you don't know, if you just built your system you don't know it very well, just reinstall all the kex that you know you need, and you should be fine. However, when you do a software update, you don't get the chance to do that. So there's always that chance that something will just be way off and your system will not boot. So, but like I said, that's never happened on my system. But just know that if you do the software update option, there is that chance because you do not get to install the Kextra MultiBeast before you have to restart after the update. And as I said, I'll be showing you the software update method in this video simply because I have a bandwidth limit at school. Uh, I have 10 gigs a week that I can download, and so doing the Delta update is just a lot better for me. It's only Wednesday. I've probably used about half of that already, so I'm sort of trying to tone it down a little bit. But know that both these are pretty much identical. Uh, it's just when you run MultiBeast is the only difference. So before I ramble anymore, let's just go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Alright, so on your 10.7.2 or 10.7.0, whatever machine you're running, first thing you want to do is come up here to Software Update. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these, because I won't be needing those. But So just the update. And I'm going to go ahead and just install that. Oops, left eye web checked. Alright, so I'll go ahead and install that one item, and it will begin to download. And now I have to say this because it's very important. Back up your data before you do this, because if something doesn't work, then you have nothing to go back to, and that would just be horrible. So I'm going to come up here to Time Machine and just back up now. Time Machine is taking care of it for me. If you guys don't know how to do this, if you do, if your installation does mess up and you have to restore from a Time Machine backup and you don't know how, click right here and I did a video on just that topic so give that a watch and if you have another backup solution if you want to clone your hard drive with carbon copy cloner you can do whatever method you want to please just back up your data and now we're greeted with this so now what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna restart and it'll start installing once we do that and as you can see we have the little installing one item here now I am installing this to a solid state drive so this really shouldn't take that long but depending on your system, you know, your processor and stuff really doesn't have much to do with it. But if you have a solid state drive, this will only take a little bit. Whereas if you have a hard drive, it could take a little longer. Alright, the update was installed successfully and the computer will now reboot. And here's the Chimera, aka Chimera boot screen. So we'll let that countdown do its thing. Now as you can see, my system had no kernel panics whatsoever. Your system could be completely different. So if yours gets a kernel panic, just research around. Research around before you even do this and you should be fine. Now if my hypothesis was correct, as you heard earlier in this video, I will not have audio. And you can see the thing's moving, but you don't hear anything. You can see my uh, little Parallels virtual machine is resuming, all my apps have opened. Get rid of all this stuff. But I was correct in that I no longer have audio. So now what we're going to do is we're simply going to open up MultiBeast, the lifesaver here. And since the only thing I need is audio, that's all I'm going to install. So I'm just going to continue through. My particular motherboard uses the ALC889 uh, Kex, so I'm going to go and install both of those, as, as well as the rollback. So I'm going to install these two. And you guys can check this if you want. I usually don't. I just, I've never had problems, and it takes longer, so I'm lazy. So I'll just do it this way. And once this is done, I will reboot the system one more time. And it has finished, and I will come up here, 
and reboot the system. Here I am back at the login screen. Password is now going in one last time. You'll see stuff fly in. Parallels will probably open again. Yep. And you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and force quit parallels, make life a little easier. And as you can hear, we now have audio. And so that's basically all there is to updating your Hackintosh. So there you guys go, it's that easy to update your OS 10 to the latest software. Now keep in mind, it might not always be this easy. I remember 10.6.7 uh, to 10.6.8 was a huge curveball. Uh, it definitely did some weird stuff and it took an update as well as some more things outside of MultiBeast to get it fully working again. But that's almost never the case. It's, that hasn't happened so far yet online. And that only happened once on Snow Leopard that I can ever remember. So more often than not, the update should work fine. However, like I said, even though I did software update in this video, that was for bandwidth restrictions at my school and everything. So um, at home, more than likely, you're going to want to download the combo update. And another reason to do that is because you can just store that combo update on your drive for whenever you need it again, and you're good to go there. So you can just, like I said, you can store it on your hard drive and use it whenever you need it. I hope this video helped you guys. You can check me out on Twitter. I'm at CPUKid if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Now, I have two things for you guys to do before you go. Number one, go ahead and click that little like button down there. It helps me out a lot. Number two, uh, this involves a two-step process. It's two clicks. Click the little show more button down there and click that tech social article. Give techsocial.com a visit. Shout out to David DeFranco. Great website. Uh, every single video I do now has an accompanying blog post that go with it, which also has more information that I think of after I record this video. So every video click that little show more thing and go to the tech social article because more than likely it has more information and you get exposed to tons of other great content from tons of other great people. So without rambling anymore, thanks guys for watching.